Hello and welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. And today we're going to open up the February RPG crate. Now, first of all, here's the t-shirt. Hopefully you guys can see this quite, quite good. It says Death Adders. It is another beer. Ancient Ale. Uh, sure. Uh, Snakebite Berries and Mugwort and Perdition's Flames Brewing Company. Uh, I really like this. This is really nice. Uh, for a lot of you guys, may or may not know, I also have a beer review channel called Point Rock Review. Not all one word, but uh, I like it when they do these uh, ale shirts, these beer shirts. They're really cool. Uh, so far, I'm really liking this shirt. So we're going to continue on and see what else is in here. Okay. First, we have our card. This is the Sea Fallen, the final chapter. Uh, February 2019, season three, crate number 32. And this is Perdition's Flame. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So that's that. And then next we actually have, which looks like a sticker, and it looks just like a beer bottle cover. Um, it's exactly the same thing as the shirt. It's real. That's really cool. I wonder if it glows in the dark. It's got that kind of look to it, but it, it probably doesn't. But it's 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 really cool, guys. I'll I'll put a close up of this for you guys so you can see it better. So next we have our recipe card, and I was hoping it was a brew because I would have loved to brew it. Um, uh, let's see, encounters from the adventurous plateau. Uh, Blue Scorpion Claw is what it's called. Um, it's got ingredients, which are pretty cool. Uh, shaking, shocking results is what's on the back. Um, got a little quest there, a little mini quest it looks like. Um, recipe is Blue Scorpion Claws, you need two of them. And then melted butter, grounded uh, paprika, some salt and white, pep white pepper, huh? Um, one lemon cut in wedges, two cloves of garlic, one onion slice. Hmm. One, one of these days, I'm going to see if some of these recipes that they do, even though you're not going to be able to get everything, if I could actually try to, like, cook that or make that. Because it's got, like, little directions in everything on these recipe cards, and that's funny. I mean, maybe you can't do scorpion claws, maybe you do something like crab claws or something. Who knows? But anyways, let's keep moving on. Next we have our effing cool miniature, and this one looks like one of the snakes, one of the adders, or what I will call probably a, uh, almost like a, a nag eye. And it's in two pieces, so I will assemble it and then put a picture up for you guys so you can see it completely together, because right now I'm just holding it and you can't quite see it. Even, even the bow on this has snake heads, and that's freaking awesome. And it actually has, and you can actually see the snake pulling back the, uh, the arrow. Um, the only thing that's missing is the string, um, which is no big deal, but if you really wanted to, you could probably, you know, rig something up so you could actually have strings. But that is, that is phenomenal. This is awesome. I really like that. So that's cool. So, that'll be that. Next, we have our adventure cards. Uh, let's put this back because that's not part of it. And we got Perdition's Flame. And then we have the back. In front of this has, uh, I don't know what that is, some kind of, uh, well, it's got one of the adders on it but it looks like it's got something almost like a goblin uh, or a warthog or something, some kind of hog or something, um, which that's pretty interesting. And then, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this one, Ab, uh, Ab uh, Natar's Tomb, I, I don't know. But that's that one right there, hopefully you guys can see that. And then the back, nothing quite special about that one. Then we have the Serpent King's Lair, which looks pretty cool. And then that one's there. Hopefully I can get that to show up for you guys because I know uh, I get a glare from this when it's nice coated uh, cover on these things to, to protect them. Um, next we have, it looks like, character sheets. Um, they look like they're done in 5th edition style. 
Um, I really like these. I am going to have to find somebody with a scanner and ooh, make some copies of these because they're set up just like the fifth edition uh, character sheets. And I just recently started playing fifth edition uh, with a couple people uh, for about a month or so now, and I, I kind of like it. Fifth edition isn't bad. Um, I prefer my second edition because that's what I've learned and that's what I know. And then trying to learn fifth, it's basically the same, but it's a little different, and it can be a little confusing if you've played second your whole your whole life. But I really like these. I'm gonna have to show this to my group and uh, make some uh, copies of this and uh, print these out for them because these are really cool. I'm not gonna let them use my the originals. These are just these are too nice. I won't even use these up. These are really really nice. Um, RPG crate man, you're going out this month. You guys should do something like this more often, honestly. I really like these character sheets. You guys should do like different designs and stuff. That's that's really interesting. If you guys did that, I would definitely keep this going. Um, and then next and looks like last but uh, in this is the fifth edition fantasy number eleven level seven adventure modular. This is done by Goodman Games. I keep saying Godman, but I know it's Goodman Games. Um, and it's the Archmage's Lost Highway. And that's that's really nice. Put a nice huge ass be beholder on there, you know? That is cool. Let's see. It's in black and white, of course. Um, you know, you don't want to spend money on ink when you can just do it black and white. But uh, there's some stuff there. There's a map. There's some pictures. I mean, when it's in color, that's even better, but I know that can get expensive. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, there's some more maps. Uh, let's see. Character right there, or a villain right there. Let's see, anything else worthy of showing? A whole bunch of different monsters in here. I kind of like the way this is done. Showing to you guys. I guess that's pretty much it. That's that's the front of the book and that's the back and it is 24 pages um, Level 7 that would be quite interesting um, Anyways, that's pretty good. So and then we have our pick and puck pluck pick and pluck. Yeah, pick and pluck foam And so we got our book. Let's see what else we have and make sure we have it all uh, we got our Awesome, awesome t-shirt and sticker, which I guess does not go in the dark. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, and I like how it says, you'll need a high constitution for this spicy ale. So that's quite interesting. And then you got the uh, sticker with it. The Legendary Adventures, um, we got all three of them. The Premium Miniature from Effing Cool Miniatures. Why are you doing that? Don't you be a freaking unfocusing on me, Mr. Camera. Hopefully that didn't do that for long. And if it did, guys, I'm sorry. It's just me. I don't have a cameraman or anything like that. But uh, anyways, uh, we got our miniature, the Serlin the Serpent King. And then we have the Archmage Lost Highway book, which I already put back in there. Um, the Dragon Foam, the Recipe Card, and the Custom Character Sheets. Um... And the swords of home. Which I really like the character sheets, guys. Um, this box, this box was pretty awesome. Um, I really love the t-shirt. I wish you guys would come up with more ideals. Um, I know uh, beer is not always going to be the thing, but this style and this design, I really like the way you guys did this. And I have that other ale one you guys have, and I love that one too. So if you guys want to keep making a couple different ale ones, hey, I'm, I'm, in on that one there um so and the awesome character sheets and that's it guys so i really think this is an awesome box this time i think this is probably one of the best ones um you know what i'm really excited about this one i really like the miniature i really like the character sheets it's totally different the shirt's awesome uh the book looks awesome the avengers look awesome you know what I'm going to give you guys an A plus on this oh. one because I think this is just, this is an awesome box set. Um, I really like the design. That's, that's my opinion, of course, guys. But hey, 
Guys at RPG Crate, keep up the good work, guys. I love it. Keep it going. Don't disappoint me, guys. Until next time, guys. So if you like this month's RPG Crate, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification button so you can get notified. And like always, ring that like button like a hunchback. Till next time, guys.